Let's begin in child's pose on our mat, bringing our knees wide and nestling our torso in between our thighs. Begin to collect your breath here, reaching your palms to the top of your mat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Slowly begin to place your left palm on top of your right hand for a bit of a side body stretch here. Next, begin to place the opposite hand over the left now to stretch out the right side of the body. Then begin to come back to center and slowly begin to float yourself up into tabletop, stacking hips over knees and shoulders over wrists. And we'll begin our cat cow sequence by exhaling for cat, inhale for cow. Exhale, protract our shoulders for cat. Deepen for cow. Exhale, keeping our gaze to our thighs for cat. Broaden our shoulders for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. Then tucking our toes underneath and keeping our knees one inch off the ground for beast pose. Keeping our core tucked and engaged and then exhale for downward facing dog. Grounding through the triads of our hands. Keeping our biceps by our ears. And we can pedal out our feet for our first down dog of the day. Rise to our toes and slowly begin to travel to the tops of our mat. Just a brief hang here for ragdoll pose and slowly but surely, vertebrae by vertebrae, bring ourselves up to mountain pose. We'll circle sweep our arms and bring them at heart center. And now we will begin to prep for our sun A's. So inhale, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin. Spine is in neutral. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Collect our breaths one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urbastasana. 
exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant your hands chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog Catching our breath here. And slowly begin to fall forward to a plank. Keeping your back flat. We'll begin our side leg crunches. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing on the right side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming down now on our mats into a tabletop and having our dumbbells nearby. Placing the dumbbell within our right hand, we will then be extending our right arm and our opposite leg, so the left leg, at the same time for bird dog. So we'll be crunching in and then expanding, crunching in and then expanding. Five, four, three, two, one. Placing the dumbbell up to the side. And now we bring the dumbbell into our left hand now and our right leg will be expanding. Still keeping our shoulders stacked over our wrist. Five, four, three, two, one. And placing the dumbbell back onto the mat. We will then transition into our side plank variation where first our right knee will be on the ground and our left leg is straight, keeping almost like a warrior two leg with our left For our dumbbell, we'll have it in our right hand, and we will then begin to, with our obliques, begin to slowly lift up to the sky, a little bit of a dynamic movement here, and then place that dumbbell back onto the ground. So it's a little bit of a dynamic, a little bit of a core, stabilizes, core stabilizer since we are essentially balancing. So we'll begin to lift. Five. Four, three, two, one. Gently place the dumbbell back onto the mat and we will switch to our left leg now with our right leg being extended and our left leg being placed on the ground for side plank variations. So ensuring we're keeping the same form on this side as we are stabilizing. And grab your dumbbell. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. We're gonna keep one dumbbell as we end up on our backs now. 
for toe touches. So similar to a waterfall, we'll fall back onto our backs and lift up both feet to the sky and keeping our dumbbell within our hands. Then begin to tuck. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower. You can place our dumbbell off to the side now. We are done with those. We will then begin to prep for yogi bicycles. So placing our palms interlaced behind our head. We will then begin to lower our legs and we will begin to meet opposite elbow with opposite elbow. Almost there. Release. Begin to just counteract with a few windshield wipers. And we'll also begin to move into happy baby for our more restorative portion of the class. Grabbing the outside edges of our feet and rocking back and forth. slowly making our legs into a tabletop. We will then begin to allow our legs fall over onto the right side and our gaze falling to the left, keeping our left shoulder planted firmly on the mat. For easy supine twists. Bring our legs back up. We'll then begin to let it fall over onto the left side now. And keeping our arms straight and passing our gaze over to our right. Slowly begin to raise up the legs again and allow them to begin to lie flat on your mat. Allow your hands and feet to lay where they lay and your shoulders melt into the mat. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth and relax your jaw. For our final resting pose, Shavasana.
slowly begin to bring back movement to your palms, your feet, your legs. Bringing your head back and forth. Just awakening the body. And allow yourself to fall to your favorite side. Just a quick pause. And slowly begin to rise up. And bring yourself to seated. Circle sweep your arms. Bring in the prayer center. The highest good in me. Honors, sees, and believes in the highest good in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me today for Core Sculpt. I even felt the burn a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in my next flow. Thank you so much. Bye.